because I think that the Republican trying to cover it up for Trump. I think that's the basic of it. And the Democrat doesn't have enough power to, to impeach him yet. I, I don't see where I'm learning anything because some of the questions that they asked him, he refused to answer. It matters. The simple fact that it's happening, you know, says quite a bit as far as us paying attention to what we know has happened. And I think it's really important that not just the government does its job, but we as a people also take note and see that, you know, there's some official things that are happening and official concerns that we should also be paying attention to. I've learned not to expect anything. You know, you can't hope. You got to get up and do something about it. I hope really want to see something come out of this, you know, and as far as not just changing policies, but us waking up and paying attention to the many ways that we can all be affected and swayed one way or the other. The important moment so far for me has been that Robert Mueller is clear in the report, but also in his testimony, that obstruction did occur, and he gives many specific examples of that. We, as Americans, are interested in people. So to read the report is a challenge, but to hear Robert Mueller talk about the report with Congress people is important because we like people. The, the contact between the individuals is important. Because I didn't read the report, and I, I think it's a great idea to find out what it actually says. And I like the drama and the fanfare. I think it's about as expected. I, I think um, Mueller's a, a pretty straight shooter and, and mentioned that he is that his testimony would be confined to the report, and I think that's what we're, we're seeing. I think that everybody is getting out of it what they expected to get out of it, and there's not any surprises going on. I don't disagree with it necessarily, but... Uh, uh, I'm not going to speak to any, any more to that issue. Thank you.